What's going on guys, Wanye Films back with another vlog. Day 14, guys. You guys made it exactly two weeks with me. I appreciate you guys for coming back, checking out all the videos that I've been posting every day. Quick story, man. I just got my my Rode video mic go. The other day, I did break my uh, mic, so I had to re-up with a new one. And luckily for me, I have Amazon Prime, so I was able to get it in two days. But yeah, right now, I'm just enjoying some lunch. That good old cheddar broccoli soup. And it's the perfect day for it because it is snowing right now. I don't know if you could tell, but it is snowing. But yeah, I have no idea what I'm going to be doing today. Today is just going to be one of those days where I just go with the flow and whatever happens, happens. I do have the drone with me and hopefully I can get some drone shots. I might go up to Lantern Hill, maybe get some photos up there while it's snowing. The snow is starting to slow down. I didn't. I, I was hoping that it picked up, but it's slowing down. But I can probably still manage to get some good shots. So we'll see how it goes. We're here. I made it to Lantern Hill. Uh, I'm gonna put this camera away. All right, so this is a, a pretty big hike. I'm gonna head up. I'm gonna put the camera away till I get up to the top of the hill because this is like maybe like a two or three mile hike all the way up and I need to make it in time so I can make it back down in time before I lose sunlight. So uh, I'll see you at the top. All right, this is it guys. I finally made it. I'm not even all the way to the top. There's way more to go. We're about to run out of sunlight. There's at least another mile left to this. I finally figured out what I want to talk about in this vlog, and that is slow motion, shooting in 120 frames per second. Uh, just some quick, I'm gonna throw some quick B-roll in here. Slow motion is very, is, is a, a, a top key to getting cinematic footage. I, I mentioned this briefly before. Just remember when you're shooting at a higher frame rate, you always want to double your shutter speed. For example, if you're shooting at 60 frames per second, make sure that your shutter speed is at 120 frames per second if you're shooting at 120 frames per second like I will be in this video you're gonna want your shutter speed at 1 over 250th of a second these are key factors don't forget them all right guys so one thing to remember just get out there and shoot creating content creating videos it's not supposed to be stressful it's supposed to be the complete opposite slow motion for me is another great way to take your footage to another level uh shooting at 24 frames per second is gonna be idle for anything that's not slow motion but anything over 24 frames per second if you don't want to shoot slow motion shoot at 24 frames per second it's the most pleasing and natural look to the human eye uh the motion blur that comes along with it, it it's it's just it makes sense you know anything over that if you want to shoot b-roll shoot anything over 24 frames per second for instance 30 frames per second 60 120 and so on it's uh it's it's just it's that simple uh so many people get this wrong so i just want to be able to tell you exactly how it's done S shooting slow motion b-roll is gonna be done in anything over 24 frames per second yo check it out guys That's Foxwoods right there. So one of the main advantages of shooting with a higher frame rate, such as 120 frames per second, is being able to shoot handheld and getting a better slow motion shot. Even 60 frames per second will smoothen your shot out if you're holding it handheld. I mean, granted, if you're, you know, swinging your camera around, it's not gonna help, but, you know, uh, shooting at a higher frame rate and then bringing it into your editing software and then maybe throwing on warp stabilizer will help your footage drastically. Shooting handheld if you don't have a stabilizer is really the only option you're left with. Use a neck strap, that also helps. If you're looking for smooth, slow motion shots, uh, that would definitely come Come in clutch get a neck strap and then like i said throw the footage into your editing software conform that footage down to 24 frames per second and you're gonna have amazing smooth 120 frames per second b-roll footage 
it is snowing again it's very cold this is where i'm going to wrap up the vlog slow motion is uh crucial if you're looking for cinematic shots 120 frames per second is more than enough uh frames to slow down your footage honestly i don't use 120 frames per second often but i do from time to time i usually shoot at 60 frames per second but just remember those uh rules that i mentioned earlier Whatever you shoot at, 60 frames per second, double your shutter speed to 120, and you'll get that smooth, buttery shots. Uh, today is just, you know, um, I went with the flow. I don't know how this is gonna come out, but uh, lesson learned, if you don't have anything planned, just get out there and shoot. It's better to do something than do nothing at all, and that's where I'm leaving it for today. Hit the like button if you like this video. Go ahead and subscribe if you're new to the channel. As always, leave some comments down below, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.